Welcome OpenSIS Administrator. To enjoy this beautiful student information system, you should set it up first. We created a six-step process to get you functional quickly. When you signed up with the start date, a 12-month calendar was created in the system. Therefore, you can skip the calendar and go to marking periods. Let's start with creating the marking periods, which are how a school year is subdivided into. Create the full year first. Add the title, short name, school year begin date, and the school year end date. If your school grades the full year, then check the graded box. Enter the grade posting begin and end dates. This is the time period when the teachers are allowed to enter grades. If an annual exam is taken for the full year, then check the exam box. Checking the comments box will allow the teachers to enter a comment. Click on the submit button to save the marking period. You have now created a full year marking period. Follow the same pattern to create semesters and quarters. You can create unlimited marking periods within the full year. If you have summer term, you can create it at the same level as the full year so that the summer term can start after the academic full year. In this example, we have created a full year and two semesters within the full year. This is how you create marking periods in OpenSIS. Let's set up the periods, which is how a school day is subdivided. At this time, we will proceed with the basic period setup that is common for most schools. Add the title, short name, start time, and the end time of each period. Turn on the calculate attendance switch so that the period time is aggregated within full day and half day minute calculation for a day. Create the required number of periods your school has for a given day. You will be able to edit the full day and half day minutes anytime. Next, you need to create the classrooms. Make sure the active switch is turned on. Add the title, capacity of the room, sort order, and the description. Click Submit to save. Repeat the process to create all the physical classrooms that are in use in your school. Now, we are going to create the grade levels for the school. When you enter student data, these grade levels need to be associated with those records which will tell the system which grade each student is enrolled in. Enter the title, short name and sort order. Then select the grade level equivalency from the drop-down menu. This value maps your school's grade level title to a standard grade level. Then enter the age range and educational stage. You can skip the next grade for now. Click Submit and Save It. Repeat this for all the grade levels for your school. You can then go back to the items and enter the next grade which is the progression of a student for promotion. We will finish the school setup by creating the report card grade scale. If your school uses letter grades then complete this step, otherwise you can skip it. Enter a grade scale name, scale value. In USA, most schools use a 4.0 grade scale value. Comment field is optional, you can skip it. Turn on the Calculate GPA toggle switch so that the grades are calculated in GPA and cumulative GPA. Click Submit to save it. On the right side you will see a panel to enter actual report card grading items. In this example, we will follow the standard American high school grading system. Enter the title, break-off value, weighted GP value, or unweighted GP value. Use weighted if the course is an AP or college level course. Otherwise just use the unweighted field. The comment field is optional. Click Submit to save. Repeat this till all the report card grade items are entered. You have now completed the first step, which is the school setup. Congratulations!